This is a 1987 Bayliner 3218. It is the gas version with Chevy 308s in it. The owner had passed away. He was an older gentleman. Mostly used it as a um, floating condo and kind of tinker hut. The engines actually run really well. They are a fantastic asset on this boat. Um, but uh, he passed away and the estate is selling it now, $9,500. Um, as you can see, the bright work is needed on the wood here. It was once called the personal space, but that labeling has been taken off. We had a diver come, he cleaned the bottom, put fresh zincs on it, so they're in good shape there. Um, the boat could be taken out and enjoyed now, but uh, it really needs to be gone through. Um, the things like uh, the bilge pumps need to, their wiring needs to be shored up. Um, but other things like the lights work on them, the, it has a newer windlass here, and that works great. Actually, a fantastic anchor as well. Uh, looks like the last thing this gentleman had done before he passed away was had this canvas made. So it has a beautiful uh, blue canvas up top. However, the um, upholstery that it protects is pretty weathered and worn. Uh, I appreciate that it has a swim ladder as well. Those aren't always standard. Um, moving on to the inside. We're out here. Let me show. The engines that are in here. This is the back side of the 3208s that are in here. Um, they have 730 original hours. Like I said, they fire up, sound great, and we'll do that in a moment here as well. Second one is right here. I can note stuff like, here you see there's no foam or anything. Um, indicates any blown heads uh, the size they just sound really really nice here are the tanks on the back here and then underneath we also have a diesel generator Westerbeek kind of give you each side here everything's kind of crammed in there the Westerbeek turns over great it either needs new glow plugs or diesel fuel. And funny enough, I'm not too sure. Oh, look at that little thing. Might have just discovered where the diesel fuel goes. How amazing. Okay, well there you go, it needs diesel fuel. Maybe I'll go get some. But I am convinced that that fires up just fine. Um, hey, newer insulation, which is also a nice asset to have. Well, let's go inside, shall we? You can see some of the stuff that works up there. Coming on the inside here, you can see the carpeting is clearly original. What's nice is these cuts are factory made and you can get that replaced pretty easily there. Here's our dashboard. We got the lights on here um, that work really well. depth sounder works. Here you've got a Garmin, this goes up top. And then you also have a pretty nice uh, Uniden VHF that needs to be hooked up uh, there. Uh, have a um, carbon monoxide sensor there. Here is a custom table 
with the original table up front. Fans on to keep the air moving in this humid climate. Um, all, the upholstery here is used and uh, could all be redone. Microwave works great. Stove here, three burner is in good condition. Propane up top. Igloo refrigerator. Um, runs on the generator when you're on the hook. Got a water pump here. LPG shutoff switch. I'm not too sure there's even any water on the boat right now and it's 20 degrees outside. Oh, I was wondering what that sound was. That was the, the heat. So you've got a red dot heater as well. There's that guy. This here is the anchor right here. You can hear that do its thing. Anchor works great. Looks like he put in a Bluetooth speaker as well. It's pretty fancy. Speaker's up there. I've hooked up my phone to it and I've made calls through the speaker. Still working on the other aspect of it. Um, up front here, take you over to the head. This here's the head. I really like the layouts of these 32s. Um, and uh, certainly just making a space here. You've got a committed sit down for the shower area there. Here's your head. There you got a light and you got these nice um, skylights. You have one there and one there. They do a pretty good job. This is early morning, so it's a little dark outside. Uh, here is the V-berth. You have this part slides out. It would be nice for the pillow. But all the cushion area, all this... Um, has been taken out as well as you could see there's no lining in here as well so that's an area that one might want to um, focus on uh, when doing the projects on this boat here's the other table as well this is some um, of the canvas i believe that one covers the windshield so there is some canvas for this boat probably notice on this side there's a privacy screen it's tough to see but there's this mesh screen up there it does a really good job making this boat not a fishbowl here's the back side again carpet pretty damaged and dirty should be um, redone in ways um, the bedding as well and back this cushion this is whatever um, more glass, so I'm not too sure where this glass goes. Uh, other extras, looks like includes a downrigger here. This is interesting, it's like a furler. I'm not too sure what this does, where it goes, but it's there. Extra gas tanks and such. I'm going to kind of shoot back there for a little bit too. See this right here, got some ventilation in there. And then down here underneath I don't know again if you could see it but that is the compressor that runs this uh, marine air system here it can get up to 70 degrees mainly runs as an AC uh, system uh, but that there uh, does function um, but it does need something I'll get to that in a sec you can see this right here it looks like the owner had used a candle in here or something. There's some wax down in there. So, you know, you're probably going to want to pull this sink and replace it. Um, maybe do some heavy cleaning on it. All right, here's some life jackets. Spare life jackets. Very good thing. And then this is something I've always liked about these boats is you have this access to the front of the engines as well. And you can see here, He's got a marine engine. I mean, he's got a, a, a heater uh, posted in here, which is a real nice thing to have. You can see these are U.S. Marines. Um, I think they're 360 horse each. So, you know, they could 
be repainted, stand to be repainted, I mean, I'd probably go through um, all of them, go through both of them, put new belts on them, uh, you know, clean out the um, heat exchanger, maybe have on the list for the next summer or two to replace the elbows. Um, just some basic maintenance things, but um, the engines fire up great and they get to um, 20 knots on the water and we'll do a bit demonstration uh, there for that in a little bit, but just a little bit on the paneling there. Oh yes, that's where we were going. It was underneath kind of the guts of it all down here. This comes up nicely. And he's got a nice lamp down here. You can see you got a lot of the transducers that are down here. This is the holding tank. Way back there is the hot water tank. There is your um, air compressor motherboard. This is the pump here now, and this is the intake. And I see that tube on the bottom there, so a hose needs to be uh, placed from here to the pump to uh, get this um, intake to actually to, to do what you want. And then way back there, and it's tough for me to climb back or see it, so I'm just gonna move this the best I can. Um, but that that's the charger back there. I forget the brand, even though I have one on my boat. Um, but it, it's a real nice charger, 40 amps, um, keeps your batteries fresh. And these batteries have indeed remained that uh, fresh. So as I said here, these are the engines of the boat. does its thing. And that there is this 3817, the personal space. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Oh, slip is available for sublet. <laughs>